what's up guys welcome back to another video thank you guys so much for all the support so far thank you for all the shares likes and everything really just want to put that out there because it really means a lot this channel is really growing a lot it's still not where i want it to be so we're still gonna get there but you know no giving up i know a lot of people that just give up after like a few months a few weeks of trying something and it doesn't work for them you know you just gotta want it that's, that's literally what it is it's just you needing to want it and if you don't want it you're not you're not gonna get it you know as much as like cliche it is it's like you know you can really go after something that you really want you just have to put your your mind to it and i really do believe in that it's like you know what's that saying rome wasn't built in a day or a week well it wasn't you know that's one place I really want to visit to. I uh, really want to visit. Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, if you're going to create like a foundation, like a business or anything, it's not going to be built in a day, a week or a month, you know, there's no way. It's like, first you have to do it from the basics. And if you've never done it before, how are you going to expect to get, get it done? You know? So enough about that whole wisdom stuff. I'm not here to talk about that. In today's video, I just dropped off my baby. And, oh, that's a cop right there. Wait, am I allowed to vlog and drive? Is that, is that a, not a thing? I'm not texting it or calling. Just, But then I do have something on my hand. Whatever. I've been having like a, some car problems. Nothing like ending or anything drastic. It's just this window. Let me show you guys. Hopefully you guys could hear it. You guys heard that? Let me try one more time. Uh, you guys hear that? Uh, it's so annoying. Oh my God. So she's been having that issue for quite some time now. Uh, I feel like it's been like a few weeks, maybe a month or two now. Um, so, yesterday i was just like you know like i you're probably damaging your window like i do see a little a little bit of scratches here and there and i feel like it's just like a little pebble or something like i like on there while she was driving on the freeway with the windows down or something and she does say that sometimes um where she parks sometimes i think i like got work or at her house um there's sap like from a tree so she might think it's that i think it's, it might be both just like a little bit of trash and some sap and stuff so I'm gonna take the panel apart and try to see if I see anything and if you guys are wondering oh does Juan know what he's doing no no I do not okay so to take off the door you just need to remove this plastic thing where the window switches are and you just get something like this or even a flathead you kind of you kind of just go through the corner and you try to lift it and that's it and then it's gonna have the little wire it's gonna have the wiring for the door so you just unclip it okay and once you remove this from the door panel all we're gonna do is unscrew this screw right here. And then after that, all we do is just go from down here and you pull all around. There's gonna be little tabs all around. There's probably like six tabs and then probably like eight tabs all around here. And you just pull it off and then the whole thing comes off. So we took off the screw and then now we're just gonna take the panel off like i said where the speaker is on the bottom over here you're gonna like grab it from right here and pull might be a little bit scary but just pull but not too hard and it'll pop off so the whole bottom is loose except the top part and like I said the top part is going to be a little bit stiffer just because there's more little clips and 
and just like that it's off make sure the wire comes off and there you go the whole thing's off okay so this is pretty much how it looks like the wiring for your upper speaker your lower speaker a little bit of wiring and then the little like I believe it's like debris or like no or noise canceling stuff and then your door and in case you guys are wondering these are cables and I don't know what that oh I think that's for the um, when you walk to the door you can just unlock it I think that's a sensor for it but what we're doing today is okay so I'm trying to roll down the window but I guess since I disconnected it, I can't roll it down. So, I'm going to have to reconnect it. I'm not, I'm not going to put the whole panel back on, but I'm just going to reconnect it. And then roll the window down. There we go guys, got it fixed. All it was was just, um, holy sh look at that. I was like, why is my finger stinging? And I, I didn't even know how to cut it. Oh, this is gonna burn. Oh, f that f burns. Oh man, that hella burns. <sighs> All right, guys, so there was a little piece of rock that was stuck in there, but it was mostly the sap that my girlfriend was talking about. Um, I cleaned the window. Um, look how dirty it is. I cleaned the window from the whole, like, outside, and then every, every window is still going to have, like, some glass, like, right here that sticks right here when it gets to the... That pretty much it, it just stays here so it's this whole glass that you see and then there's extra uh, that holds on to the mechanism so i cleaned that part and i feel like that was the part that there was a lot of like sap on there so i'm just gonna slap everything back on I gotta remove this and then this this thing's still super sticky uh so all you do is pretty much just line it up and then just kind of press it on there and that's it Let's see, it's already stuck on there. It's pretty crazy how like this glue or whatever you want to call it, like never gets dry or anything. Or it probably takes years, but I don't know the, the chemistry behind it. But yeah. Cool, so we just slap everything back together. So if you guys are wondering if you guys have this issue or any car, it doesn't matter what car it is. It's always just a couple of like pins here and there and and then just clean the window. Um, usually it's a little bit of debris. I also use my vacuum and I did hear a couple of little crumbs going to the, the hose so it must have been a little debris you can't really see. Um, but that's that's really simple. I wonder how much it would have cost to... I should have done that, huh? I should have gone to like a local mechanic shop and been like, how much would it be to get that fixed? They probably would have charged me like two, three hundred dollars. <laughs> All right, so I slapped everything back together. The door works. Oops. And then. Um, and then let's try one more time. Still making like a weird sound, but I think maybe that's just a mechanism itself. 